Hi there everybody, this is Mark Bromley and today I'm going to talk to you about the iHeartN logo design. Now this artwork incorporates a few of the uh, uncommon elements that you uh, may not see. This is a logo that I actually created some t-shirts designs. Uh, it was actually for I had political campaigns that I was running in. And the reason why I was running for those political campaigns is because the political nemesis in the area that's attacked my family name, my family history, the contributions to its uh, to the history of the state of Colorado itself and the United States of America, which goes all the way back to England and the Doomsday Book, the Norman invasion of England. You know, that's what the Doomsday Books are. And anyways, there's a big, huge history with a Bromley name on it. And uh, I'm part of that history, along with many Bromleys who are actually part of that history. And anyways, uh, here in the city of North Glen, in Adams County, I've been forced into poverty. Ever since I was four years old, I've been persecuted by a political nemesis that has constantly attacked me. You know, when you're four years old and you're growing up, you don't have access to the history books, and they closed down the only library that your town actually had, and they tried to keep all that knowledge from you, and you're stuck watching science fiction and fantasy and a bunch of nonsense stuff that isn't really your history. You know something's going wrong with the politics in your hometown. So I started running for office. So I created this sign, I Heart N. First was the N because when I made my first run for the mayor of the city of Northland, uh, they would not let me use their N. Honestly, I call the city of Northland's N the vomit N because it is muted colors, it's pukish looking, and it looks like vomit. That's what the uh, new N is. The old N, the first N that the city of Northland had, was actually crafted by a really good, skilled artist who actually used uh, things like a F curve and really fancy tools to create a really fantastic image. But then they replaced it with a really cheesy image, which was a lot worse than the end that I created. But the end I created was kind of a spoof on that end because they said I couldn't use it because it was their end. So I created my own end. And I put a little happy sun on that end, a little happy house, uh, little happy trees, the three trees that were actually on the original North Glen sign for the city of North Glen here in Colorado. Uh, so I kept the three trees to be symbolic of that sign to let them know that I know the true imagery of the city of North Glen instead of the, uh, the cult of the woke racists that are now on the city council, the haters. And, uh, so I, I had to create this happy N, and it took me a few months to create this N, and uh, I had several different designs of it. And uh, this one I was the happiest with, and I said, well, this one works, this is good, okay. So that's how, so there was some time actually put into that, that one little N just to make that N. It's the same thing with the heart shape. The heart shape itself, that took some time to actually create, because as you can tell, it's a little rough. It's not that even. I don't have high quality art programs on my computer, and I don't have the actual room and the environment that's needed to actually really create uh, the heart image by hand right now. Uh, basically, you know, all my whole life, I've not been given the resources I need to actually be an artist, even though I went to Western University for art, and I, I know a lot of different techniques of art. I've never been given the money I need to actually really do art. So I have to do these, the artwork on these really bad art programs that, I mean, just to do layering alone takes like, well, it's a monumental effort. Let's just put it that way. And anyways, this heart itself took me many, many hours to create this heart right here uh, with the stars in it and the, the swirliness, the ca the shapes that it goes in and stuff like that. And that heart is pretty interesting, isn't it? So there's a lot of time involved in creating this artwork for this uh, this um, commercial part of uh, advertising, which I put on a bunch of t-shirts. You can go to votebromley.com and it's on the uh, website there if you want to buy one of those. You're more than welcome to do that. Help me out a little bit. The I, the double lettering, the colors there, that took a little bit of effort, a little North Glen. There's a difference in the two lettering, and uh, it all came out really nice. Well, anyways, 
the city of North Bend stole it from me. They saw my work, and in September, I went to the Ward 2 meeting, and one of the city council members said that they were trying to buy my coffee cup, and they couldn't buy it for, through PayPal. I had no problems going through that whole entire thing. I could actually use it. So I don't know if he actually tried to buy it or not, because I had no problems. But he said that he did have a problem. I mean, he wasn't able to process his, uh, his credit card information to buy the mug. Well... Anyways, there are many ways to do it. He could have gave me money right there on the spot. He could have uh, sent me a check for it. Uh, well, he could have contacted me, and we could have set something else up. Uh, it's always possible. And, um, well, that just didn't work either. So uh, he gave me a clue that something was going on, that the city had seen what I was selling. So by the Ward 4 meeting in October, towards the last couple of weeks of the election, here in uh, 2023 for the mayor race, they actually created their own handbags. Now, they never had these handbags before because there was no reason. See, in the state of Colorado back in 2021, 2022, they made it mandatory that you had to have, bring your own bags to the store, which means you had to have your own cloth bags. So they just made those cloth bags during the 2023 election. They stole my idea, my art concept. They did use their own N and, and a different heart, but it was my idea that they stole. The city of Northland was guilty of copyright infringement and intellectual property infringement because they were so jealous that they were, they literally stole my work. And this was Nura, this uh, urban renewal association of theirs. Uh, which is supposed to actually help businesses in, in blight. My businesses in blight. They were supposed to help me, not steal from me. But that's what they did. They stole from me, and they just wanted to attack businesses because uh, the city council member, Brown, was really constantly attacking me. You can see it on YouTube. In her videos, she's constantly lying about me and spreading disinformation among the residents of Ward 2 and around City of North Glen, and she was psychotic. Every single time she sees me, she goes ballistic and she goes nuts. Her face turns red, redder than red, whenever, whenever she hears anything I say or do. She gets really that livid, and she's on the Nura board. And so I'm sitting there putting two and two together, and I start to see how this path went. And they literally stole my eye heart in. So I sent the city a bill for my services. Only $1,000, you know. I, I just basically charged them my, my rate of service for one-time deals, for the hours that were used in the production of the heart and the N. Uh, and uh, I, I even gave them a discount. So they, they were given a reasonable price to make amends for just taking my artwork and, and taking my idea because, you know, artists should get paid, shouldn't they? Should artists not get paid for their concepts, their ideas, their ability to actually help out? But no, I ended up with this uh, racist cult of woke that's currently on the city council literally hating me. And you can actually see it. Because they sit there and they started accusing me of being a male. They started accusing... I am a male. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, I am who I am. And, uh, yeah, they, they don't like me for being white. <laughs> hey, I'm white. Sorry. But I'm an Asian father, so I'm not really totally white white. And anyways, that continued to happen quite a bit. And it was awful having to deal with this terrible city. And, uh... It was just terrible that they stole my image and they stole my art. And then they sent me nasty grams after I sent them the bill. They got upset about it and stuff. And they said that I cannot have an N because they own the N's. They don't own N's. The city of Northland doesn't own N's. And I told them that their N looks like vomit because of its colors. My N is the happy chipper, sunshine, happy tree, happy N. Mine's the happy N. They're in is the vomit in. The city of Northland's in 
looks like vomit. It looks like garbage, and it is garbage. I'm not the only one that believes that. Other people that had anything to do with the city council, they believe it's garbage too, that they don't like it either because it's it's all uh, it's all this partisan political nemesis, this really bad karma in the city of North Glen that attacks people. The only reason why I started running is because I got tired of the violence being aimed at me. Violence. I would be just doing my own business, creating my own artwork, uh, sitting at home, and uh, people would be destroying my cars, throwing glass bottles at me, hitting me with their cars. This is actual real violence. And, you know, they, they just want to look the other way because it's organized crime on the city council. And that's why I started running for office, and that's why I created this, and that's why I created those T-shirts. And I'm running for House District 34 for the legislature and the state senate because the political nemesis has been trying to alter and destroy the Brownlee name here in Colorado and all that it established. It did a lot for the cities of Denver, Arapahoe County, Adams County, Jeffco County, uh, the state of Colorado, a lot of it came from this guy named Emmett Bromley. And um, basically, it's the history, and that's why I was being suppressed all the way when I was like four years old. I didn't know about all this political nemesis until I started running into the people actually engaged in this kind of behavior, and it was just atrocious. Anyways, this is my I Heart N logo, and it's, it's actually really lit those racist, nasty, cult of wokists on fire because because here I am, an artist, and just because I'm a white male, they think they could hate me for the work that I do. It, it's shameful. It's really terrible. And, and the whole reason I'm motivated to do it is because I tell people, the reason I'm doing it is because I'm like George Floyd. And this, this is where they're really upset. They don't think I'm George Floyd because of my color of skin. But if you read about who George Floyd is, about his, his family life, the jobs that he did, <laughs> he's me. He is. He really is. We are like two peas in a pod in reality. And uh, they can't see that because they, wanna, they, do, they just want to play the skin color. Racist. That's what the woke thing is. Racist. And uh, it's sad. It is really sad that I have to deal with that kind of stuff and they want to steal my artwork. So anyways, help me out. Go to my website. If you like some of my artwork, if you see my other videos, my other paintings, go ahead and help me out. Buy my artwork. Buy my book, Euranthium. Uh, it's in ebook format. I'm still trying to get it self-published because uh, I don't want to be owned by any political nemesis. I already had some nasty people cyberbully me and attack me over a book they didn't even read. They just wanted to attack. And uh, that kind of psychotic behavior needs to come to an end in the United States. And, um, you know, buy my artwork, help me out, and you can actually help get me elected to office. I'm an unaffiliated candidate, by the way. I decided that there's only a one-party system. And so uh, I'm not going to put up with that anymore. I'm just walking away from the whole entire thing. And anyways, uh, I'm just trying to protect my... Uh, legacy of my family's name here in, uh, in Adams County, Colorado, and uh, I'm a fantastic artist. I used to watch shows like Bob Ross and uh, Captain Mark of the Secret City. You guys ever seen those on PBS? Those are pretty wonderful shows, weren't they? They were. Happy little things like that. So hopefully I can uh, get City of North Glen to pay me for my creativity and my creative idea off of this. If not, you can always help me by getting hats, t-shirts, and uh, when I release my new uh, House District 34 uh, state legislator uh, uh, concept, uh, there's two versions. There's the red, white, and blue, and there's the uh, color wheel. Or I guess a lot of you guys might think it's a rainbow, but it's a color wheel with wings, and it's wonderful. So thanks for listening to me and i know this is a pretty long video just over one little thing but you should hear the story about the whole entire thing it's pretty awesome uh well thank you very much have a great day